The Punisher logs into a chat room, pretending to be a young girl with the username Sad Princess 14. Soon enough, a man going by Jester End Time sends a message. Are you excited? Playing along, the Punisher replies, Yes, but I'm shy too, and my parents are going to get mad. Trying to manipulate her further, Jester End Time presses. But I told you already, they don't have to know. His fingers type quickly on the laptop as he reassures. Look, if you're worried, we can meet at Luna Park. So much fun there, I used to love going there as a kid. With a smirk on his face, he pictures how easy this will be. He types again, completely unaware of what's really unfolding. Getting more aggressive, he keeps pushing. I'll even bring you your favorite flower so you know it's me. What's your favorite flower, sad princess? What he doesn't realize is that he's not talking to a little girl. Behind the screen is the Punisher, who simply replies, Posies. Later that day, the man prepares for what he thinks will be an easy meetup with his target. He collects the flowers, along with tape, car keys, handcuffs, and ropes, thinking through his disturbing plan. Standing in front of the bathroom mirror, he flosses his teeth, admiring his reflection, feeling smug about how well everything is going. The man believes he's walking into a meeting with a scared little girl, but he's about to face something far more dangerous than he could ever imagine. He slips a syringe filled with some kind of drug into his shirt pocket, confident he's covered all his bases. Little does he know, the Punisher is preparing too, loading bullets into his gun, methodically with a cold focus. The Punisher, guns loaded and ready, slips on his jacket, carefully concealing his weapons. The sun dips below the horizon, and night begins to fall. At the same time, the man gathers everything he needs. Tape, ropes, handcuffs, and other disturbing items onto the back of his car. In his twisted mind, it was all part of the plan. At the same time, the Punisher clears out the back of his own car, making space for the man's body once this is all over. Both men set off, but for very different reasons. With a faint smile, the man drives toward his destination, excited about the twisted plan he's made in his head. On the other hand, the Punisher drives with a grim determination, his face hard, eyes focused, knowing that tonight he would be stopping a predator in his tracks. He knows exactly how this night is going to end. The man, with a smug grin plastered on his face, drives along, savoring the vile things he intends to do. In his mind, the plan is flawless. No one will hear her, no one will know. It all seems so effortless in his head. As the man approaches a closed amusement park, hidden far from the bustling city, his grin widens. The park, abandoned and desolate, seemed like the perfect place. No one around, no witnesses. The eerie silence didn't bother him. It excited him. He parks his car and steps out, clutching a bouquet of posies, the supposed favorite flower of the young girl he thought he tricked. He calls out, Sad princess? Where are you? The park is eerily quiet. Then, from behind him, a calm voice speaks up. Excuse me, are those posies you're carrying? The man spins around, startled, only to find himself face to face with the Punisher, who had a gun in his hand. The Punisher tilts his head slightly and continues, Because posies are my favorite flowers. Before the man can react, the Punisher pulls the trigger, ending his life in an instant. The sound of the shot echoes through the empty park. The Punisher had just ensured that countless children would never fall victim to a monster who would never get the chance to hurt anyone again. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.